Hey YouTube, like a doll's eyes back here with another statue review. I'm gonna do a little double review today because um, there's plenty of reviews out there of Red Sonia and there's a few out there of Conan. And I bought these two to go together anyway, so figured I'd do them both. So anyway, um, how to start off? The, start this off. Uh, I guess the first thing I'd say is um, I grew up a huge Conan fan. Uh, the Arnie movie is what started it, and then I. Because of that, I started reading uh, Conan the Barbarian comics, um, King Conan, and Savage Sword of Conan. So I was uh, a pretty big fan. I mean, I ran around the woods with a with a wooden sword that my uncle made me and everything else. So uh, I was a pretty big Conan fan. After uh, Hulk was my first love as a kid, and uh, then it went when I got a little older. It was Conan was uh, and um, I went nuts for Conan. So anyway, uh, the reason I never got the original Conan here, the Rage of the Undying, is because I was never impressed with the pictures from Sideshow uh, on their uh, production their production photos, or their prototype photos. And uh, because of that, I never really looked at the in-hand photos. And I wanted something to go with Red Sonja, and so I started watching YouTube videos, and I was blown away with how good this Conan was. Um, kind of like the modern Thor, that piece isn't done justice in pictures it's done in justice in videos and of course then really done uh, justice in hand and this Conan is the same way but before we uh, talk much more about Conan what I want to talk about is the whole reason that I even said I got to get a Conan um, to justify a purchase and that is of Red Sonja so I like Red Sonja but I wasn't a huge fan of Red Sonja growing up I mean she was cool she showed up in com uh, Conan comics so I was happy you know it was cool when Red Sonja showed up but I love this statue, and um, I just, I, I love the, the, the proto pictures, I love uh, people's photos, and I love the YouTube videos. So I was like, I really want to get this piece, but I, she doesn't go with anything else. I mean, I have the um, Arnie Conan, but they really don't really go together. Um, so I, you know, I that's that's I, that's when I thought, hey, hey, let me see if I can see a that Rage of the Undying, and I watched the YouTube videos, and that's when I was like, wow, this is a great piece, and I think they'll go great together, and I believe I was correct. I think they look fantastic together, almost like they're made for each other, like she's maybe down in the snake pit, and she's just killed the snake, and he's getting ready to jump down and fight whatever else is down there, I don't know, but anyway, make up whatever story you want, I think they look great together, uh, maybe you don't, but I do, so that's what counts, but anyway, um, so I, I, I sat there, and uh, because I was able to secure him, I went ahead and got her, and very happy I did. Had to sell a bunch of stuff in order to afford them both, but that's okay. That's what collecting's about. So anyway, uh, so she is, in my opinion, perfect. This is Sideshow's best piece that I have ever purchased, in my opinion. And I've owned a lot of the um, great pieces I own the original PF Hulk, and, and it's great, and and don't get me wrong, I mean, I'm not saying it's better, um, but I just think that everything on this is perfect. It's got the perfect base. The base is perfect. It's like a statue itself. That snake's just creepy looking, you know? The tongue, I mean, it's just awesome. The guts and everything. The, the base is a statue itself. Uh, the body sculpt is perfect. There's such a good flow to it. It looks so natural and so real. The face is a winner all the way. Sideshow's best female face sculpt, probably. Um, she's beautiful. She looks so cool. And it's perfect. It's a 10 out of 10. Paint apps, perfect. The art direction, perfect. I went ahead and got the exclusive. Um, in my opinion, this isn't an X or fail. Uh, I actually thought about just getting the uh, regular because Sideshow still had her on for sale and I thought about doing that. I'm glad I didn't because I love this piece so much it would have drove me nuts that I was missing something. And uh, so I went ahead and got the X for this and I'm really glad I did. I think the X, it gives it a little depth because you can see the handle come be from behind her. So it just gives it a little more depth. But when she has the sword in her hand, she looks great also. Um, I'm not going to put the sword in her hand now. Uh, you can see other videos out there of that, but she looks great with the sword. And what's kind of neat, she actually looks um, uh, sleeker and, and faster with the sword, which makes sense, but it, it's just kind of weird how it makes the statue feel differently, you know? Um, but it, it's a, it's amazing. Uh, I love the X on this. I like the regular on this, so you can go either way. 
Uh, one thing I was going to say about this and, and is if you're thinking about getting this and you're on the fence, cool, I strongly suggest it. However, you might want to make sure that you are, uh, don't plan on, you know, this isn't really, the resale is scary on this. And the, the reason why is, let's just show you this. First of all, this is kind of cool how they did this, you know. Um, but you can see the little intricate pieces. Her hair is just very intricate. Um, and she was, when I unboxed her and was taking the head out, ugh, what a, I mean, that was just scary. Uh, not scary so much taking it out, though I was very careful. Scary of thinking of repackaging this somewhere down the road and selling this. I just thought there's just no way um, that I think I could uh, ship this off. That, now, that doesn't mean other people can't. It just, for me, that would be cause a lot of stress. And this piece is so nice. I, I don't see this going anywhere. If, if I had it alone, I could say maybe see. But now that I got both, it's it's just, it's a perfect, perfect matchup. Um, I have a Conan poster. I don't know why I don't put that behind there. But anyway, uh, so, um, so yeah, so she's perfect in, in every way. The, the paint apps, they're, they're all perfect. The, the little details, it's just, it's really amazing. It's a home run for Sideshow. 10 out of 10, easily. And she, like I said, she's not my favorite statue because she's not my favorite character, but she's my best statue now. She is my best statue in my collection. As for Conan, so like I said, Proto Pictures did not impress me, so I never really followed this piece. And then, um... I wanted to get a piece for to, to go with Sonya, so you know I thought about the the prize, but that's too expensive. And I thought about Fury of the Beast, and that's you know one fifth scale, and and that's awfully expensive now too. Kind of regret not getting that way back when, um, just because I like it, but didn't show Conan off enough. Anyway, this piece. So I I watched the YouTube videos and was blown away. There's some great YouTube videos out there, and uh, this piece is is um, pretty cool, especially in person. I love the uh, material on this. Uh, it's a little bendy, so you can kind of display it a little bit. I love the layers that it has to it. Love that he's got, you know, the two belts, you know. Uh, you can see the um, the, uh, the skirt slash tunic or whatever it's called here under uh, over there. And, and it just looks great. I have the X of this also, in which the sword hand can go where the mace hand is. Um... I actually prefer it with the mace, which is weird, because I, I always think of Conan with his sword, you know. That's the funny thing, when Sideshow keeps putting out pieces, and it's usually always like, the sword is an exclusive, and it's like, Conan used a sword, uh, you know, a savage sword of Conan and, and everything. But I uh, used a lot of other things too, but I do like the way the sword looks in his um, uh, sheath, and just how it looks going up against his um, uh, midsection there, I just think it looks really cool. And uh, the mace looks awesome anyway. So if anybody's thinking about getting this, this is not an X or fail. This the, I think the regular is actually better, but I like having the X. And who knows, maybe I'll tra uh, change it up someday. But love the pose, love the base on this. Very dynamic base. Um, it's a, it can be a bit wobbly. And mine actually came to me broken. I, I got this from a seller. And real nice guy. Um, and it was obvious that was not, he did not pull it, especially since I've seen other videos where this, uh, has arrived broken and stuff. So, um, not putting the blame on him at all. And anyway, I was able to glue it and fix it. Um, so no big, no big deal. I got a good price for it, especially for the exclusive. So there aren't that many of them out there. There's like 200 or something like that. So, um, and it looks great. I got it fixed. I have no complaints. And I don't plan on selling Sonya because she's going to be a pain to ship. And I don't plan on selling Conan because I'm keeping Sonya. And, um, and I love how Conan looks. And uh, it's getting me back into reading my Savage Sword of Conans. I, I pulled those out and started reading them again and really enjoying them. So, um, anyway, uh, 8.5, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, easily. Just, yeah, just amazing. Um, so, yeah, so there they are. Anybody thinking about getting both of them, I strongly suggest it. If you have one and you want the other, you know, I my seal of approval, because I think they are absolutely perfect together. Kind of looks like a diorama, you know, looks like, you know, Sonny just killed this snake, you know, Conan's getting ready to jump down and they're going to fight whatever uh, Pictish uh, animals are coming after him now, you know. So anyway, um, like I said, 10 out of 10 for Sonya, 
8.59 for, for Conan. My only complaint with Conan is, and the reason I only give him 9.5, I do wish he was a little bigger. Um, uh, that's just my personal preference. Um, I like the way he was drawn in the Marvel comics, and he was always a little bigger, especially in the later comics. He was a little smaller in the earlier comics. Um, but uh, I just prefer my Conan's just a little bit bigger. But, you know, part of it's is because of his pose. He's stretched out quite a bit, so you can't really see the bulk. But in all honesty, the, the, the pose is so great and everything. I mean, it's, I don't even really care that he's not that bulky. I mean, but it's awesome. It is great. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, again, um, I'll be back. I'll try to put some more reviews. I'm real slow with the reviews. Work, like I said in the last video, has been very busy. I'm going to try to put some more reviews up. I might get the uh, Conan vs. Wolverine, which is supposed to come later today. Not Conan vs. Wolverine. Hulk vs. Wolverine, which is supposed to come later today. And uh, that'd be something, though, right? Conan versus Wolverine. What if Conan or Wolverine went back to the Hyborian Age? That was a what if comic. Um, Conan kicked his butt once, but then Wolverine healed and then uh, took off Conan's hand. And uh, Conan was transported back to the. I ain't going to ruin the ending for you. It's a good little story. It's kind of a neat little story on how that happened. So you can find what if. I can't remember what it was called. What if Wolverine fought Conan or what if Wolverine ended up in that Hyborian? I don't know. I'm talking a lot now. So, all right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.